chopping samples with Serato sample inside machine? Since machine's hand-on sampling without using the mouse and the keyboard is so good, I never thought it was necessary. But with stem separation that was introduced to Serato sample 2.0 last week, and also key detection and real-time time stretch, it's definitely worth trying. And it seems a lot of machine users don't actually mind using the mouse and the keyboard, so let's see how it works. And since Native Instruments have just released their new drum play series instrument called Rudiments, I'll be using some hard-hitting drums from it. You can check it out from the affiliate link down in the video description. I also have an affiliate link for Serato Sample, and these links help support the channel at no extra cost to you. Let's get into it. I have this wave sample and if you want to drag and drop it from the machine browser, it has to be a wave sample. Just set it to the beginning of the sample and as you hold pads, it will create slices, but you need to go to keyboard mode. Um, I've transposed my machine pads to octave one, starting from C1. So the way to chop on Serato sample, you just need to hold a pad while you are pressing the next pad to assign the next chop, if that makes sense. Let me show you how it works. So we just hit it once to create our first slice marker. And then when you hit it once again, it will start playing the sample. And while I'm holding the previous pad, I'm hitting the next one. So, do we even need to use the stem separation feature on this one? I think it's cool as it is. So, I'm gonna select all, bump up the release so it plays the slices all the way through. I don't need to hold down the pads. Let's first record some drums. Like I said, I got rudiments on group one. I just shortened the release of this percussion hit. Let me just also load a percussion loop before we lay down our sample chops. Okay, go to group B and try our sample chops. Actually, these are a bit quiet. Let me just compress this. It's going to be Supercharger GT. It's really quick to do. Like, just crank up the compression. Let's side chain the sample to the drums. And since we don't have access to the separate drum hits, I'm just gonna side chain into the whole drum kit. It's gonna sound good. What I meant was that since we're not using the drum kits in machine and we're using this plugin, this contact instrument rudiments, the separate drum hits are not available as separate sounds in the machine groups. So that's why I side chained it to basically the whole drum pattern, which is something I actually do quite often, even if I have access to the separate drum hits. So, so let's record the bass with the Rick and Bakker bass. One thing I want to try to just add more stuff from this sample is to just duplicate the group with the Serato sample. Duplicate group B to group F. So I got the same sample basically. I'm gonna pitch it an octave up. I didn't do it the correct way. I need to select all slices and then use the key shifts to pitch it an octave up plus 12 semitones. It's still in the same key, F minor. But for this one, I'm going to select all 
and basically turn down the release. I'm just gonna make the slide the notes as long as I want them to play because I don't want them to overlap or be so long. So at this point I'm just gonna go back to YouTube and rip more stuff from the same track. Because I wanna try to add a vocal sample from the same track, it's probably gonna work. Gonna load up another inst yet another instance of Serato sample. I'm just gonna try to remove everything but the vocals. Is it gonna work? So that's how you make a sample based beat using Serato sample inside machine. Check out the affiliate links down in the video description for rudiments for Serato sample or get one of my own sample packs and Ableton Live packs, a great way to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching everyone and catch you in the next one.